Let's say you're taking the passenger ferry boat from San Diego over to Coronado, okay? And you get off and you walk down the pier into the ferry landing toward all the restaurants and shops. Pause a moment and look, just off to your right, there is a little sandy beach, and overlooking that beach is this condo complex. That's what's there now, but go back a little over a century ago and you know what was there? Something that looked like a castle right on the bay. Very strange. Joe Dittler is a Coronado historian. I was the editor of our city magazine many years ago and, and uh, our mayor called me up and goes, why don't you do something on that uh, silent film studio on Coronado? Of course, I didn't know anything about it. He was surprised. There was a studio here? They made movies? And then right over here in the year 1915 was this enormous structure that must have looked so out of place. It looked like King Arthur's castle with this incredibly fanciful architecture. And what it was was a film studio, the Lubin Film Studio. Sigmund Pop Lubin, an inventor and Pennsylvania filmmaker, had made some movies back east and was a distributor for Thomas Edison Films. Well, Mr. Lubin came out to Coronado and saw a West Coast movie-making mother load. Back then, silent movies were the entertainment rage. Dozens of them, two and three reel melodramas created by the American Film Manufacturing Company in La Mesa, were shot there and in Lakeside with any background they could find. But Sigmund Lubin built his castle on the water. Right away, hired a few dozen employees to make movies on sets that were built behind its tall walls, away from prying eyes. And imagine all the possibilities outside. Well, what have you got here? You've got the beautiful bay. You've got the raging ocean right over here. You've got the fairy tale castle in the Hotel Del Coronado in Tent City. There's so much to film. And then there were the polo grounds. And the polo grounds, well, hell, they had cowboys and they had horses. But what they didn't have was a way to preserve any of those old Coronado movies. There are bits and pieces of some of the work from Lubin's time, but nothing from Coronado. Joe has searched and researched, and he can't find a one of the estimated 200 made there. Well, that, you know, that film that they used in those days was just, it, it just burned itself up over time. It wasn't stable, and there was no way then to protect it. Still, Joe says, La Mesa honors its history. There's a plaque in tribute to the movies made there. Why not a little historical marker in this city for everyone to see as they enjoy the walk and the water? It would be absolutely wonderful to have something here, even if it was just a little bronze plaque that commemorated the site where the Lubin Studios set in 1915. To tell the little known story of Coronado's silent movie history as we have done here on About San Diego. That was a fun video. If you would like to see more, here's all you have to do. Just click on the subscribe button, and that way you will see more videos just like that one as soon as they come out. And that is my advice from the front porch.